afternoon, Stitching Post Facebook and YouTube uh, family. It's so good to see you. Hi, I'm Robin Hill for Hey Robin with Sewing Down at the Post. And I have a very, very special guest all the way from Mawa, New Jersey. Yes. <laughs> They're actually live in the Genomi studio down at the Genomi headquarters in the USA. So we're very excited. Um, we'll have to do a shout out to Alba and Sam. Maybe many of you remember Mr. Sam when he came and taught surgery classes um, a couple of years ago here for us at the Stitching Post. But I'm going to introduce Alba. She's very good. And I'm, I'm not even going to mess up your last name, dear. I'm not going to do that to you. <laughs> <laughs> but Alba is doing our first virtual um, sewing class and virtual um, quilt show. And you'll be able to join us here in the store. And she's going to join us live through the magic of a video. But we're very excited. We're going to be having some sewing machine specials. And we're going to be focusing on two of my very favorite models. They're really very beautiful. She's going to talk about that today. And I'm going to kind of let her take over our channel. But I was going to tell, let me, I'm going to tell you a little bit about her. She joined Genomi in 2007 as a in-house. So she made all the samples for Genomi for the pictures and developed the classes. And then she was so good, they gave her a raise and they sent her all over the country to deal with crazy dealers like me and teach us everything we need to know about Genomi. And she's very published. Uh, she's been in Sew News. She's been in uh, Designs Machine Embroidery, probably Threads Magazine, any popular sewing magazine you probably done an article for. And uh, her favorite things are digitizing and quilting. And she loves to bring her two passions and sewing together. So without further ado, I'm going to bring in Miss Alba. And she's going to tell us all about the things she's going to be doing here in April. Oh, hang on. Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Alba, as uh, Robin so beautifully introduced. Um, I'm getting, uh, I was blushing there as she... Uh, introduce me. So my name is Alba. I have been with Genomi for 14 years now. Um, and I wanted to tell you about the event that Robin uh, invited me to do for, for you. So today is like a little teaser. We're going to let you know what's going on. But we're going to be doing a virtual quilt show with a hands-on project. So I know for me, I absolutely miss all the quilt shows. That is when I get to look around, see new product, look at the machines, go shopping, and not having those quilt shows is really just not been fun. So with the virtual quilt shows, I'm going to be bringing you two machines that Robin has in stock and has more coming in. And these two machines are really going to blow you away. So I will be touching on and going over the Continental M7 and the Skyline 7. And I am just going to bring the camera a little bit closer. And I am going to let you see those machines. So the Continental M7 is our, we refer to it very beautifully as the beast in the Genome office. This is a 13.7 inch arm from the needle to the base. 13.7 uh, inches is just heavenly to work with. With quilting, with home deck, um, virtually any type of sewing. This has a lot of incredible features on it and it has, that comes with it, 23 different feet. What I love about Janome is not just how well built and beautiful the machines are, but it's that complete package. And the other machine that we're going to be featuring, the, the second um, MVP machine, is the Skyline 7. So this is almost like a mini miniature version of that Continental M7. A little bit smaller in that throat space, but packed with features. What I like about this one is that it is in the low 20 pound range and it is still portable to bring to classes, but this is a serious enough machine to be your one and only as well. 
So I like the fact that if you do have maybe a top of the line machine, you have the 15,000 or you have the 9450 or, or maybe even the Continental M7, this Skyline 7 is a nice size to bring to classes with you. It's still portable enough and both of these machines have our famous AccuFeed system. And for those of you who are not familiar with AccuFeed, uh, AccuFeed is our built-in walking foot. So the upper feed dogs and that lower feed dog guide that fabric beautifully. And if you are familiar, if you're not familiar with Janome, Janome is really known for that incredible feeding system that it has. Just how beautifully it pulls that fabric in straight. All I need is a fingertip to guide the fabric and it really makes sewing a pleasure. Now the part two part of the virtual quilt show is gonna be a hands-on class for a limited few at the store at the stitching post. So there's room for 10 people to come in. So if you are comfortable going in for a live class, you can do so. If not, you can watch me virtually. And what's nice about that hands-on class, you're gonna see me in an application, in sewing an item, how to maneuver through the screens, how to change out the feet, what the machine is really capable of doing. So I want to give you that experience that if you only are virtual with me, that you feel like you've sat in front of this machine and you've gotten to know what that machine is like and make friends with it, so to speak. So I really hope that you're able to join me with that. And there are two dates available and that will be April 9th and April 16th. Um, so please double check with Robin about signing up for those and also being able to get on the virtual event if you are uncomfortable going into the store so that we're able to do it that way as well. So um, I am more than happy to answer any questions for those of you who are live. Robin, do we have anyone asking any questions so far? Well, we had some lovely comments. Um, okay. And I got to, uh, hang on, where's, where's Misty's comment? Oh, I like this one from Misty. Janome was my first sewing machine and she loves it. We got some hearts and thumbs up for Janome, which uh, was really fun to see. And uh, Misty is joining us from Oklahoma City. And we also had Miss Cheryl is watching all the way from Enid, Oklahoma. Hi, Cheryl. <laughs> and I have a very good friend of mine that used to live in Enid. Yes, that's where I took to get my daddy's first COVID shot. They have a wonderful antique mall down there. Three ah. whole stories. I was oh, in lovely. antique mall heaven. <laughs> So anyway. I explained a little bit about the two dates that they could come in in April to be in your store or virtual with me. So, um, and I do believe that was 10 spots that are available on each date. Correct, Robin? Uh-huh. Yes. Good. Um, let me see. Um, let me go here. Um, let me bring up our, uh, the lovely screen share here. Hang on. I'm going to bring up uh, screen share. And here, we'll do that. We'll show the virtual quilt event. There we go. Now, uh, if you, if when they go to sewbargain.com, you'll see um, that they can just click and join there. Um, we have both dates on our calendar that we're showing. Uh, and but, I, um, because of COVID, because of distancing, we are going to limit that to 10 people live. So if um, either one of these two machines or, or any one of the Janome machines is something that you're really thinking about, come in, come and see those machines where you could touch them, feel them, make friends with them. I like to pet my machine and name it. 
Yeah. But I think that's a really great way to safely come out and see the machines. But if not, I, I really do my best to really give you a sense and a feel that you're right in front of the machine. So during the yeah. virtual events, I kind of disappear. And all you see is the screen of the machine close up, the foot really close up. So you're really getting a good understanding not only of how to complete a project but how that machine really runs yeah well i'm going to mention this uh alba since you brought it up but if they go look i'll show one here um uh they can see that comment there there is links so you can sign up for the virtual quilt show which is the lecture demo uh on the ninth and then if you want if you wanted to if you're very if you're serious and you want to try before you buy uh we have I think did I show it? Yeah. So there, there are links in the comments um, under both feeds, so you can go straight. It'll take you straight to our website or the the thing I just showed a while ago, and you can get signed up for the event. So on the ninth with that lecture demo, I'm really going to take you through a lot of features. It's basically going to be like an owner's lesson. Um, by the time I am done with that lecture demo you are going to feel like this machine is a good friend um, and really get you comfortable at it. And then on the 16th, you if you're part of the live group, you will get your hands on it. And if not virtually, you can follow along with the project that we are doing. So yeah. Robin, will they be able to contact you for a kit if they want to follow along at home? Yes, I know. I'm so glad you brought that up. <laughs> Uh, yes. Now, if you'll notice the banner scrolling around the deal, it has both of our phone numbers to both our locations. It also has our email address. So if you maybe you've got an older Janome and you're thinking about trading up, uh, we're going to have specials and we can give you a quote through email or you can call and talk to us at the store. Um, so if you want to pre-buy one of the machines and then take the class virtually in the store, we can do that for you. And you can just all we, we have to worry about is packing it up and taking it home. But I like um, the virtual classes. I don't have to pack up the machines. <laughs> yes, that's fine. And this is going to be our first experience um, with not everyone being vaccinated. And now we have the space, to, you know, we can put buy machines pretty fairly well apart and separate people and do it in a safe way. Um, our custom, you know, I've lost, uh, we've lost, I've lost church members that, that I knew and I've lost customers, husbands and friends. We even, it was so hard. We had one lady drop her repair off. And by the time we called to tell her it was done, she had passed away from COVID. And it was so hard on my staff and so hard on the little man that we had to call. So we want to be, do this safely until everyone's till the president, like he says, everyone's fully vaccinated and everyone's can be, you know, the, the herd immunity sets in. So we're trying to do safe ways to bring you fun into your home and be safely in our store. And like I said, if you are taking the class virtually that you're just not comfortable being in the store, by the time that event is over, you will really feel like you know and understand that machine. I go at a really slow pace. Um, if you followed me on the Janome Facebook page, uh, people are able to follow along at the pace that I go and complete the project with me in the class. And that's one thing I've always prided myself on in teaching, whether it's sewing, quilting, embroidery, I want you to complete what I'm doing. So I really try to space that out yeah. so that you're able to follow along. So I think you'll be really comfortable yeah. even if you are at home. And, and that's the cool, the reason we chose these two machines is one's at one end of the line and one's in end of the other. If you want a little more than a nine inch neck, we have some comparable models in stock that we can still work on some specials with you on. So we'll be able, or if you want, if let's say we've got a Sky 9 because you want, you want all the great features of the Sky 7, but you want some embroidery, Genomi has that option. That's the beauty of Genomi. There are so many different wonderful options for different budgets, and we're here to help you facilitate into the, the model of your dreams. 
So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring the camera much closer to the machines and I'm gonna mm -hmm. let everyone get a really good look at the machine and not just me. So just bear with me as I move my tripod and All get right. this a little bit closer. And okay, this, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put you full screen, okay? That sounds good and I'm just gonna adjust the height Perfect. There's nothing like being live. So I am, um, I'm actually going to turn my camera around so that this will be much easier. So let me uh, do that real quick. And there we go. So this is the Skyline 7 that is right in front of me right now. So what I am going to do is give you a real close-up look at this so that you get a feel for the machine. And also, I'm going to raise this up a little bit so that you could also see that wonderful stitch chart. So just bear with me as I'm like doing a manual crank on my uh, tripod so that you can see. There we go. And I'm sorry about that shaking. Now with this particular machine, it is a little bit of a smaller machine. So from edge to edge on this one, it is about a 19 inch from one edge to another. And the throat space on this one is nine inches from the needle to the side of that. So this is what I like to call an intermediate machine or an advanced classroom machine. And what I like about this type of setting is that normally on your classroom machines, you don't have those interior lights. You don't have all of that lighting space. You definitely don't have that nine inches of room so this gives you just a greater um it gives you that top of the line feature in a smaller package and being able to use that AccuFeed system the built-in walking foot in a classroom is just so nice just like other Janome machines the screen icons are going to look really similar to you. Um, really nice. I love that this one has that pivot feature so that when I start sewing and I stop, my foot is up and my needle um, is down so that I'm able to pivot and turn my fabric. Really nice packaging with this one. So on the Skyline 7, this one has 240 built-in stitches and it has seven alphabets, that lettering capability within that. So I really like the size of this one. It's easy enough to bring to classes with me, but it's serious enough that if this is your only machine, it is going to give you features that you are really going to enjoy and love. And now I'm going to bring you to the Continental M7. And I just have to move this a little bit further out. This is a much larger machine. So this one, I have 13.7 inches in that bed space. From edge to edge is 25 inches. So this is a much larger machine, a lot more lighting, um, more capability to it. This is not one that you may want to pick up and bring to class with you. And I think that was why we did the two very specific and very different machines on this one. So the Continental M7, this has an industrial motor capability in a home machine. So this is the one that you're going to want to go to if you're doing leather crafting, you're doing upholstery, you're doing a lot of heavy duty sewing. This machine could handle it 
with that DC brushless motor. If it fits under the foot, it will sew through it. Um, and I really do like the power that this has and the fact that it's still really nice and quiet. So now I have both of the machines in the screen and you could see that they are a very different machine, one from the other. So we're going to have something to suit your needs, but you really want to let Robin know um, what your budget is, what the features are that you're looking for. Janome has a machine that will fit your every need, and that's what I like, that Janome does have so many machines in the lineup. Both of these machines have that ruler work mode, and I know ruler work has become very popular. And I am going to focus in on some of the quilting on the table. So this one here, those circles and those petals were done with rulers, very consistent, very uh, perfect in the way that it looks. And it also does a gorgeous job with free motion, which is what this panel uh, that was free motion quilted. And that may look familiar from the advertising on the M7. So I was fortunate enough that the uh, sample I made when this machine came out was chosen for that advertising. So I'm going to double check with you, Robin, if we have any specific questions on the machine or the event. I always like to make sure and just double check that um, we are answering yeah. questions. Well, I, I put out the post. Does anyone have any questions? We do have a, we, we have another lovely comment from Cheryl. She says she loves Janome. <laughs> I am so glad that she loves Janome. I do too. So I'm going to come in and I am, I turned the camera. So I don't know if I am in focus and in screen. So let me know if I need to move. There you go. I can see you. Okay, good. So let me see if I can um, ask some questions. Um, so I noticed you mentioned the rulers and we are a Westerly uh, ruler. And so during this special, being the owner of the company, I might be tempted to throw a little Westerly Rulage package in there if uh, anybody purchases during our event. May have to have, so we might have some really good little freebies. That's the cool thing about uh, events is you get a little bang for your buck. So, uh, but Just what like I recommend. The quilt show. Yes, I that's I true. Like that virtual quilt show because everyone knows you get the best prices and the best packages when you're at the quilt show. And everyone's feeling disappointed because they feel like they missed out. But we're really um, trying to give you that feeling of being at a quilt show and being able to see the product. Yeah, um, I have a question. So I noticed you were talking about the AccuFeed. And I yeah. think that is so wonderful. Could you take a minute and kind of explain to the, the, the folks watching what is so special and about the AccuFeed system and how Genomi took technology that was developed and after the patent went down that they took that and developed the AccuFeed and what it, how cool it is today and yes. the fact that you can change your feed and some of the yes. cool things that you can do with the AccuFeed because so I feel like I that am, is such a special, special thing. I have the AccuFeed foot set up on the M7. So I'm going to show that to you and I am going to focus in on that and I'm going to give the camera a second to Okay. So here is I'm just trying to let my camera focus um, so what I have here is an upper feed dog system and it 
coincides because the foot is magnetically connected into the shaft. The motor that drives that needle up and down is what's driving that foot. And I'm just trying to give you the most clear picture because if I zoom in too much, you're not going to be able to see. So as I'm sewing, you're going to notice those upper feed dogs are walking and they are moving and gliding that fabric. Now I am not holding that fabric. Look at how beautifully straight that pulls. And even going in reverse and coming back to the beginning, you're going to see, and I'm going to show you just how straight that pulled. So there we are right there. And you can't even tell other than it looking like thicker thread at the beginning, but that just pulls so beautifully. Now, not only can I do a straight stitch, but I'm going to pull that out a little bit, but I could also do a decorative stitch. So I am going to go to one of my decorative stitches and I am going to use that built-in walking foot with a decorative stitch. So I'm going to move in a little bit closer. I am hitting start. Now I know some of you are saying, but Alva, you've got a built-in walking foot and you're doing a decorative stitch. And Janome has absolutely no problem doing a decorative stitch, even with that built-in walking foot. And you notice how nice and straight that pulls. I'm not even holding that fabric. I am going to cut and I'm going to show you that decorative stitch. So I just really love that walking foot because I basically use the walking foot for just about all of my sewing. So the other nice feature with that built-in walking foot is that there's interchangeable bottoms. Now for this, I'm going to move in a little bit closer. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. There we go. Now when I lock my machine, that will go to extra high lift and I could change out these presser feet and I am just at a weird angle so that you could see. And now I have my quarter inch piecing foot. So I can do my quarter inch piecing with a built-in walking foot. So I am just going to line that up, lower my foot, and just like that, I can go back to quarter inch piecing and be able to do that very easily with that built-in walking foot. So I'm guiding along that guide. And now I have here four layers of fabric and I am guiding that and using that built-in walking foot to do my piecing as well. And there are many optional uh, accessories that are available for that built-in walking foot, including stitch in the ditch, an open toe for the decorative stitching, And one of my favorite features, now I'm giving this all away, so on the ninth, you're not going to know what to ask, but I love the way the plates change on this machine. Hey, uh, when, with we that have a question. Oh, yes. go ahead and finish. I'm sorry. But so that a plate just slides right off. It goes back in and it. I don't even have to press it down. Those I love that. Changing <laughs> in and out are just so nice. That so is what the best is that thing. question? We have Cheryl from Enid has a lovely question for us. Yes. Um, yeah. Can you see it up there? Uh, is there an automatic threader cutter on either machine? On both of them. 
Yeah, see, I can so answer that. You, you have that thread cutting feature on both of them. I'm going to just move that really close. So I have that scissor button. And one of the nice features with both of these machines is that if you didn't notice it while I was sewing, is that the foot automatically went up and down. I did not have to lower that presser foot. And I'm even going to come here and show you that wonderful scissor button. But when I start sewing on that machine, the foot just lowers on its own. So here I have a quarter inch foot on my machine. I'm going to select start. The foot lowered on its own. And with that pivot feature that's available on both, when I stop, my foot is up, my needle is down, allowing me to turn that fabric. So both of these machines, even though one is smaller than the other, are really jam-packed with a lot of features. Yes, and a lot of feet. That is one of my yes. favorite things about Janome is the great selection of feet that you get with this machine for any type of sewing. So on the Skyline 7, you're getting 16 feet. And on the Whoa. M7 you are getting 23 feet. That is so, amazing. Yeah. And you know, with, with buying feet afterwards, normally that can add up and get very expensive. I love that the Janome feet are quite affordable, but you're getting so much with the machine that I really have to think about when people ask, well, what other accessories should I get? with the machine you really do have to think about it because you're given so much with the machine that's true well uh this has been is there anything you'd like to add that you haven't said uh miss alby that you'd like to add miss alba or um yes i would really love for you to join me on both the 9th and the 16th I think we're going to have a wonderful time together. Uh, you never know what kind of surprises might come up on those two dates. So please make sure to sign up and join us. Um, if you'd like to take a look at some of the other classes and other things being offered by Janome, make sure to go to the Facebook page for Janome. But really make sure to check out the YouTube page that the Stitching Post has. And there's a lot of really wonderful information and just things that are posted there as well. Well, anyway, I look so forward to seeing you and getting to hang out. I've had so much fun talking with you all this week. I feel like we're just like you're one of my friends. <laughs> and so that's the cool thing about Miss Alba. You just, you have a, she has a great connection with you. And I've learned just so much from watching their stuff even I've picked up. But I'm going to, we're going to say goodbye because I'm sure that her and Mr. Sam are ready for a late lunch. Thank you so much for uh, doing this for us today. And we look forward to a long night. Pleasure. I'm sorry, what, ma'am? It was absolutely my pleasure. Thank you very much. You have a very blessed day. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. Cheryl says awesome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Well. That was Miss Cheryl. I mean, Miss Cheryl, thank you so much for being so sweet to um, Miss Alba. They were coming to us live from Genome headquarters in uh, New Jersey. I thought that was so very cool. So if you're interested in either one of these classes, let me go here and uh, show that. And you you just go to that's S-E-W-B-A-R-G-A-I-N dot com. And you can go click on classes and events and sign up for either one of those. Um, if you're really interested in uh, trying before you buy, uh, we'll be doing a mystery project in that class. Um, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, she will be there virtually with us. And we look very forward to that. But once again, this is Robin Hill saying, hey, Robin, what's sewing down at the post? And we're here at 530 today and five at our north location. And everything is 25% off. That's all Janome. We also have our fabric for 25% off today, too, as well. All right, but we'll see you later.